Take 20. First off, I wanted to say that this video is going to seem similar to another video. Uh, that video was made last year, also on March 4th. And the reason why is that there are three things I want to share with you. Now, one, it's the two-year anniversary of me watching the Vogue Brothers for the first time. And if you want to hear the story about how I got into nerd fighting, it the video is in the link somewhere around here, or here, or here. Or you can you can figure it out. Two, it's my birthday. Three, it's Will Eisner week. The first week of March is always awesome for me because you've got St. David's Day on the first, Dr. Seuss's birthday on the second. Scotty from Star Trek's birthday on the 3rd, my birthday on the 4th, Will Eisner's birthday on the 6th, and the entire week is Will Eisner week. For those of you who don't know, Will Eisner is a famous pioneer in the comic book industry. Uh, two of his books I'm going to show you right here, uh, Contract with God and Comics and Sequential Art, are two of the most important comics ever written. Comics and Sequential Art is pretty much one of the definitive books on how to write comics, and A Contract with God is one of the first of the modern graphic novels. Before Contract with God, there were no graphic novels. There were comic books and comic strips, but they weren't really in a book form and taken seriously as literature. And Will Eisner didn't like that, so he wrote A Contract with God, which was the first book to be written as a comic. And he continued to do that. And every year or so, he'd release another graphic novel and another, and another, and another, and he did that till the end of his life. He just kept writing graphic novels, because he knew even if one, or two, or ten, or twenty don't really sell that much, or don't get a lot of people, as long as he just kept writing them, other people would be inspired to join him in writing graphic novels, and they would just continue and continue until it became widely considered as a legitimate literary form. Will Eisner helped comics step forward a bit towards the goal of it becoming serious literature. But the comics still aren't there, and it's going to take a lot longer and a lot more people to keep fighting for it. And it's our job to keep pushing the medium forward. The Comic Book Legal Defense Fund helps protect the rights of comic book creators, sellers, and owners from the, having their First Amendment rights of free speech taken away. And in order for comics like A Contract with God or other graphic novels to be written, and to be sold, and to be read, they need to be defended by the First Amendment. Because without the First Amendment, people wouldn't be able to write, or read, or sell these graphic novels. And the only way to get taken seriously is by getting the comics out into people's hands. And if the comics are stuck in some back room of a court, no one's going to be able to read them. And how are we going to keep pushing forward? So that's it for my second annual birthday video. And if you haven't, go read a comic this week. Do it for Will Eisner. Do it for me. Do it for your First Amendment rights.